Are you looking for a way to sweeten up and add flavor to your non-alcoholic bevies without all the sugar and the calories? In this video, I'm going to show you three sugar-free and low sugar syrups that are delicious and simple to make. For our syrups, we're going to be using a zero sugar, zero calorie sweetener made from monk fruit. Monk fruit is a small green fruit native to southern China, named for the monks who cultivated it centuries ago. For this recipe, we're going to be using one part monk fruit sweetener to two parts water. I'm using a quarter cup of the sweetener to a half a cup of water. We're going to put our burner on medium heat and then whisk the sweetener into the water. We don't wanna bring this to a boil the point is just to dissolve the sweetener into the water. Once all the sweetener has dissolved, you can go ahead and remove it from the heat. Next, you'll want to funnel it into whatever container you prefer and chill it in your refrigerator and then serve. This syrup will keep in your fridge for about four weeks. For our next syrup, we're going to be using juice instead of water. I'm going to be using tart cherry juice, but you can use whatever juice you have on hand. We're going to be using our same proportions, one part monk fruit to two parts liquid. Then we're going to whisk this over medium heat until the monk fruit sweetener is dissolved. Keep in mind when using juices, you are adding a very small amount of sugar to your syrup, depending on the juice. This tart cherry juice adds about one gram of sugar or less per quarter ounce serving. Once your monk fruit has completely dissolved in your juice, you can remove that from the heat, chill it down, place it in a container of your choice, and then serve. For our next syrup, we're going to be using tea. Tea makes a lovely flavor to a syrup. It adds complexity and depth. I'm using chai, but you can use whatever tea you prefer. I also really like Earl Grey and green tea as well. We're going to start just like we did with our other syrups with a one to two ratio, dissolving the sweetener into the hot water. Once our liquid is dissolved and we've removed it from the heat, we can go ahead and drop in our tea bag. I'm using one tea bag for four ounces for a really concentrated chai tea flavor. Now let that tea bag steep for about five minutes. Remove the tea bag, place the liquid into a container of your choice. Let that chill in your refrigerator and it's ready to use. You can use it in mocktails or whatever beverage you want to add a little sweetness and flavor to. For more ideas on how you can use syrups in your mocktails, you must check out these videos here. And for more tips, tricks, and tastings of all things non-alcoholic, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.